Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is August the 16th, 2019. Let's just be blunt. To the NFL, the move to hire Jay-Z, in part, to quell the concern over the league's treatment of Colin Kaepernick, and then to have Jay-Z after the deal is reached, and I'm a fan of Jay-Z's, but after the deal is reached, to have Jay-Z reach out to Colin Kaepernick is a failure. It's not working. It's not going to work. Right? Just, just understand, since this deal was announced, friends of mine have mentioned in conversation how outraged they are. Outraged by what's happening. Right? You can't have preseason games on television where viewers are looking at backup quarterbacks struggling to get a job on the roster and at the same time not give a quarterback who made it to the Super Bowl an opportunity to compete for a roster spot. Worse yet, you can't hire someone who used to criticize performers who had agreed to do halftime shows in part because of the league's treatment of Colin Kaepernick. You can't hire someone who used to wear Colin Kaepernick jerseys out of solidarity for with Colin Kaepernick and then have that person accept a league job and call Kaepernick after the fact. Right, right now online you have statements from Kaepernick's girlfriend Nessa about how she at least didn't appreciate the politics of it. Right? Well, my point here online, and I'm hoping the league gets this right because understand I'm a big time NFL fan. I'm hoping the league gets this right. My point right here is whatever the league was trying to accomplish, it has shot itself in the foot. Right? Somebody, someplace needs to give Colin Kaepernick an opportunity to compete for a roster spot. Understand, people like Aaron Rodgers, right? I'm just talking about a future Hall of Famer, a Super Bowl winning quarterback who knows something about playing the position. Aaron Rodgers has come out. And has said, hey, he feels that Colin Kaepernick isn't getting a fair shake here. Right, Cam Newton, MVP winner, made a Super Bowl. Cam Newton has come out and has talked about how Colin Kaepernick risked his career by making statements. Right, the feeling is that the reason Colin Kaepernick is not getting a shot to compete for a roster spot is because of his concerns, and let's be clear here, right, what his protest was about. His concerns over the shooting of minorities by police, right, many of them were shot in the back. So, I don't know what the league is doing. It's August the 16th. You're running out of time to invite Kaepernick to camp to at least give him a chance to show whether he's good enough to be on an NFL roster. Right? Hiring celebrities to give Kaepernick calls after the fact is not going to cut it. No one believes that that's a just resolution to the situation. Right? So, I'm just urging the league because I see a situation that's going to get worse if something doesn't change here. I'm urging the league to have someone on some team invite Kaepernick to camp to take a look at what he has. Let me just say too, 
You had a gay football player who was an all-conference player in college, Michael Sam, slip in the NFL draft. Right, he went to Missouri. No team picked him for several rounds. Then, of course, Jeff Fisher, then with the Rams, picked him toward the tail end of the draft. No one's going to be able to tell me that calls weren't made, that there wasn't concern, that this guy was being ostracized, this guy was being shunned from the league. The league would have looked bad if this guy didn't get drafted. Right? The same thing has to happen here with Colin Kaepernick. Right? The league needs to realize that it's going to have one hell of a black eye. One hell of a black eye. If it looks like it didn't even consider Colin Kaepernick for a position. Right? Just food for thought. Someone somewhere needs to say, look, we're here holding competition for roster spots. We're looking for a backup quarterback. Hell, for some teams, they're looking for a quarterback, starting quarterback. Some team needs to say, okay, look, if we're serious about putting the best on the field, then let's at least give this guy an opportunity to compete for the position. After all, hell, He's already won a conference championship. Let me point out, too, his last year, and I know that was a dumpster fire in San Francisco. I'm aware of that fact. But just look at the numbers. I believe he threw for 16 touchdowns. I believe he only threw four picks that year. Right now, I want people watching this video to just ask themselves the foundational question. Right? Is the worst quarterback on your local pro football team a guy who you feel can go out there and throw 16 touchdowns in a season and only four picks? If there's a guy looking for a job who did that his last year, I know the Niners only won two games that year. I'm aware of the fact that Blaine Gabbert won one of them. Fair enough. They were a terrible team. But understand, on a terrible team, you had a quarterback who had already won a conference, right? Cap makes it to the Super Bowl by winning the NFC. And in his last year, he throws 16 touchdowns and only four picks. Folks, those are the numbers, right? Do you think it's right that not only does no team give this guy an opportunity to try out for the roster, given the current talent level, I'm sure you, like me, have watched some preseason games where you're cringing looking at the backup. Right? Cringing. Do you think it's right that this guy in America doesn't have an opportunity to try out for a team? And don't you think it's even more preposterous that the league would hire <laughs> it's ridiculous the league would hire a celebrity and then publicly announce hey the celebrity has reached out to this player who we're not giving a workout to right as part of some public relations announcement I'm just telling you it's not cutting it I was just walking into my place and a sports fan I talk with came up to me and I thought okay when someone moves to me that fast I'm thinking okay they're gonna let me have it on some prediction I made I thought wow thought I was on a decent run which fight recently have I blown it on then the guy started talking to me about Colin Kaepernick and understand this is not the first conversation I've had on Kaepernick in the last 24 hours. NFL, whatever you were trying to accomplish in terms of Colin Kaepernick by hiring Jay-Z, 
just know it hasn't worked. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments on this issue in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.